Hey guys, I uh, got finished up with the welding last night and I uh, kind of just jacked it up. It was dark out by the time I was done, but uh, I'll kind of show you how we made out. Uh, let's get some light on. Now that's kind of that right there is your problem. That's where the crack was. Be gone. Gone with you. Put a light on the camera. There we go. And we'll crawl underneath it. See what we got. Well, first would be that side, I guess. This is the outside section of it. And the underneath piece. And then the back side. So I would say. That pretty much has it. Rust be gone. So, that pretty much uh, tied everything back together. And this whole side was floating. There wasn't even anything touching it. And then on the back side, it was probably missing about that far. So, the only thing I was making contact was about this much of the back and uh, a rear strip of it. So, that's all beefed up and uh, re supported. So now the idea is to go and undercoat it. What I did on this side for the time being was I just wiped, wiped it down with grease. Let's see. And you know that pretty much pickles it. That's not going to stop. Uh, that'll stop the outside from rusting at all. But um, to get to the inside you, obviously you can't get into it. Or, uh, what I do is I put a plastic glove on and then I put a cloth glove over the top and I just got a big old tub of grease and I stick my hand in there and I just smear it all around. So, someone wrote me back when I was doing trying the fluid film and gave a suggestion and I'm going to try it. We'll see how it works out. And what that suggestion was what it was was uh, barn chain oil, chainsaws. It's very thick. I don't know if you guys ever dealt with this stuff. But it's like molasses almost. It's very thick kind of material, much thicker than oil. So, when, you know, and again, that's the idea of it is to stick to a. Uh, that chain so it lubricates the chain without flying off so hopefully that'll be the same idea that what it does to um, to do on uh, the inside of the rail and if I'm going to thin it down with something I haven't tried exactly what yet uh, maybe an acetone, uh, acetone uh, just a uh, think wrap it think uh, it's the other one that's not acetone <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Anyway, I'm gonna try thinning it down and uh, uh, minimal spirits. Is that what I'm trying to think of? I don't know. Uh, and see if I can spray it through a spray gun. And also, I have um, a wand that you stick in a jar and you could spray. I think it's for um, like degreasing an engine, you know, one of those Harbor Freight deals. And I could stick that up in the rails and get the rails nice and coated on the inside. So that's where I am. And uh, hopefully get this car done and out of here. And uh, I'm sick of looking at it. And while I was at the diner this morning, I got a call. My parts came in for this guy. This is uh, one of those uh, yard sale jobbers I picked up. Uh, an Echo trimmer. And uh, it needed some carb love. So I got a uh, fuel line filter set up and a carb kit to put that guy together. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to stop yapping and gabbing to you guys and uh, get my ass in gear and get this thing done and out of here and get my bus back in before it starts raining. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.